Okay, guys, this uh, quick video is about uh, 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 Predator Sense software and how I customize my keyboard because a lot of people ask me and uh, they don't seem to find it. I don't know what the reason is, but again, please check out my video about how to uh, up update to the latest Predator Sense because if you just let the auto update do the job, it's gonna mess it up big time. So you have to remove every single components that are you on, on my in my case there were three components uh to be removed completely uh from the uh, programs and uh, then obviously you downloaded the latest version restart your computer install as an administrator restart again and it should work now this new predator sense is much much better than the previous one was and lots of updates lots of uh, changes lots of uh, new features incredibly good compared to the other one uh, but uh, the way okay let's get to it on the top i select scenario now mine is always in turbo mode because i want the maximum performance of my laptop and uh, especially now that i got the cooler uh, I don't really have to worry about over uh, heating. Okay, so in the second menu down, we'll go to pulse, pulse lighting and go to area and to area control. Here it is. Now, if you want to customize a whole bunch of keys to one particular color, like select it, put down, uh, press down the control key, and then just keep selecting all the keys one by one that you want to be at a certain color that you want okay after that just select the color and uh, modify it how uh, the tone should be how bright or etc and how light etc so that's how you do it uh, in my case i have a certain logic why i, I select certain keys uh, for example the power uh, the predator sense and windows the buttons are, are gray uh, green uh, these arrow buttons are yellow because they're completely different from the others uh, the numerical keys are, are red i want them to completely uh, stand out from the from the others and yes uh, the other these multifunctions because obviously they're not only numbers but other keys as well um, to be in a certain color as well so that's how i do it now the light bar is right here and you can again either select a static color or or a, a dynamic i select the dynamic and that's pretty much it back to the keyboard and once you save it, it it will it will stay like that but you can go to dynamic anytime and from the presets you can select whatever is available uh, i i prefer this particular setup for my uh, taste but uh, whatever works for you i tried for example for the main keys the white color I, I don't know it didn't it didn't really stand out for me uh didn't work for me but whatever it is that you like now uh the personal settings are lots of lots of new uh features new things to select and customize so I, I i definitely like this new predator sense also fan control i i set it to auto but uh, again you can select the max um, to maximum or customize if you don't have a, a laptop cooler, I highly recommend to get one. Uh, check out the ones that I got uh, on video. It's don't don't just get any kind of cooler. I, I'm I'm telling you guys, I checked it out and I saw immediately the problem with the regular coolers because they just blow uh, multiple fans spinning under it and, and it, it just hits uh, the bottom of the laptop, but it it goes left, right, front, back, all over, and just a, a dust uh, creating uh, mass. Okay mine the one i use is isolated completely isolated what the fan blows up goes directly into the machine that's why it's the, it has that phenomenal cooling effect uh again more advanced settings and yeah that's it uh what is it uh, yeah this is my setup just in case you're wondering i have the uh 24 core uh laptop cpu the 13th generation intel uh, i9 13900hx at that time this was the uh, top model uh, check out the cpu temperature a lot of people complain that it's it's 80 90 95 97 degrees for them well mine can get uh, hot as well 
I mean, <laughs> if I'm not in an air conditioned room and I don't use the uh, the cooling, uh, you know, um, machine under underneath the the laptop, and that that was that was the main reason. But now I have that. I also uh, installed like cooling pads on the SSDs as well as the RAMs. I have videos of it. If you want to check out, go to my channel, check it out. Um, useful videos. And the uh, GPU is also a very good one, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 laptop GPU. Obviously these, uh, you know, CPU GPU are not as powerful as, as desktop models, but I'm telling you guys, uh, in this is by far the most powerful laptop I've ever had, and it performs incredibly good, like, like a portable uh, desktop machine, okay? So fantastic, I, it's, it's amazingly, well designed. I had many, many MSIs. Uh, I also liked MSI. Uh, very good cooling, uh, everything. But uh, still, the body was so hot th that uh, I don't. Know, it, it was very too hot for me. And also, the keys melted or something happened to them. And uh, the the how do you call this? When you open up uh, uh, the laptops, uh, monitor these uh, joints, they were they broke up. They broke off. All sorts, of, all sorts of issues. So it's a design issue over there. Uh, so uh, this particular model from Acer is incredibly good. And I also like uh, the 240 hertz uh, 2K uh, display. And don't buy anything reflective. If you want to buy a laptop, a reflective is going to annoy the living heck out of you because there's always some sort of reflection and, and takes away uh, your your attention it's annoying so uh, don't buy anything reflected uh, back to the software um, lots of, lots of uh, features again uh, I like it a lot m more than the previous generations some people say that they could uh, imagine even more uh, control and customizations options within yeah uh, me too for example um, in MSI for example I could select a key and assign a function to it. Now, why was it very, very good? For example, my gaming keys, this, this usual, you know, the gaming keys, S, A, S, D, and uh, W, literally died. After, after a couple of, like, years of, of gaming, they literally died. That was, by the way, the reason why I got this new external health uh, game, health size, uh, one-handed gaming keyboard also have a video of it if you are interested because i have no intention of destroying my my laptop's uh keyboard and when i asked msi about it uh if they could replace it and they say no no it's a couple of years old now we don't have the uh you know keyboard for that, that old model i'm like wow thank you very much only if i knew you know so now <laughs> in order to protect my new keyboard on on, on my acer I got this uh, external half size one uh, one handed gaming keyboard. So if anything goes wrong, and by the way, it's wired as wireless as well as wireless. So very very good, and uh, I'm not you know busting up my my expensive laptop's keyboard. So I'm protecting it in, in a sense. So I, I like it a lot, but again, I could imagine uh, the functions that MSI had, like let's say. Uh, select this because for example it stopped working for me on M on my MSI and uh, I, I instead chose a different key like this key or this key or whatever key and assigned the W to that so I was able to do, uh, to assign or, or for example if you use uh, like a European or some some cultural things like accent letters or something you can customize it to that particular language now in this case we don't have that option so that is one thing I could definitely, um, you know, imagine uh, as an upgrade. But again, there are other uh, solutions because Microsoft offers some uh, programming programmer package. Uh, I don't remember exactly how, how you call it, but yeah, totally works. And you can customize every single uh, key on your keyboard uh, and uh, change uh, the way they operate if you want to. But that should be another video. Back to this, very, very simple, guys. Million questions. People say that they don't have a clue how to customize it. Just hold down the control key while selecting uh, the keys that you want to uh, assign to the same color. 
and yeah that's it that's it just very very simple like you know let's say this and hold down the control key and this 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 and, and go on and then you select the color and that's it and how bright it should be and that's it very very simple so yeah exceptionally good uh upgrade from the original original was nice uh, but this is much much better however again it caused a whole lot of problems and headaches to a lot of people uh during the update upgrade as that's why i uh, published that uh, fix uh, solution about the predator sense software and uh, to my best uh, effort a couple of people said that it didn't really work for them so i recommended them to contact acer customer service and and uh, describe them the problem or show them the video or something or upload a video and and send them the link or something where you demonstrate the issue and uh, so they can understand what the problem is and in one case uh the person sent me back a notice that uh acer issued him an, an update uh, and it's it's a different update than was available for download and that solved the problem completely so <laughs> maybe they're working already on a on an update i don't know but whatever it happened it, it fixed for them so if you have that kind of an issue then they just go to customer service again that's it very very simple go to scenario pause the lighting select area uh to area control and there you go also the light bar you can set a static uh by the way you can uh even in the static you can select like different colors if, if that's what you prefer and then this is what it looks like the middle is gonna be yellow and the outside the two bluish beautiful very nice you can set you know how bright you want it and how strong lighting but i just prefer dynamic for that and that's it so yeah simple nothing special about it guys thanks for watching see you guys next time